And I rise to uh, move to strike the last word. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I want to just say that American ingenuity, American ingenuity and civic involvement has come forward again. The American people are creative and involved people. And I have here a letter from a blog site called porkbusters.org. And let me just read you a couple sentences from this blog site. As you know, internet technology has made research faster and easier than at any previous time in human history. By releasing your 32,000 earmark request publicly, I and other taxpayers across the country could work together in a cooperative effort to determine which members of Congress may have financial conflicts attached to their earmark requests, which local projects may be unworthy of federal funding, and which may have value to the taxpayers. Thanks for your consideration of this matter. I and millions of my fellow taxpayers across America stand ready to help you evaluate these 32,000 earmarks requests. After all, we are the ones who are paying for this re these requested re uh, projects. The least we can do is help you evaluate their merit. We have volunteers now coming forward that are willing to help the overworked staff on appropriations that apparently does not have the time to look at these earmarks. And uh, haven't had time over the last several months, although we've had time for a lot of other things to do, but we haven't had time for uh, Volunteers are now coming forward, and uh, the American people are standing ready, and uh, they will be willing to help. And on another note, I would just like to give a, a question to the colleagues I have on the other side of the aisle. I hear a lot of discussion about what's in the bill, and it's, it, the bill has many good things. No one's denying that there are some problems with the bill. The bill has some, many, uh, some really good projects in it. But why not talk about the earmark process that amounts to doing it in secret, that amounts to doing earmarks in the month of August when we're out of session, when we can't debate it, when it's going to be done in conference committee, we will not have a chance to vote one by one on these earmarks. And you know that, generally speaking, past history is that the earmarks will be passed even when they're challenged, even when they're brought into the sunshine. They will, generally speaking, be passed. So really, what do you have to be afraid of? They're probably going to pass anyway, unfortunately, in even the most egregious ones. But, uh, so you really have nothing to fear, and you really don't need to hide them. But you're doing so anyway, and I think that that's wrong. So thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. Who seeks